Hey everyone, it's Skiesti. I'm here to talk about Mercy's newest super jump iteration in the Overwatch 2 beta. Uh, again. <laughs> Let's go over the changes, then we'll talk about them. First, Mercy will no longer automatically be launched into the air when she reaches her target. Super Jump is now triggered by either looking up at the sky and jumping, or by holding the backward directional input, aka S, on your keyboard, and jumping. Something to note here is that looking down seems to make you go higher a little bit. There is now a meter that charges while Guardian Angel is active. Canceling the ability with jump now launches Mercy into the direction she's facing. The more charged Guardian Angel has, the more launch speed she'll have when cancelling GA with jump. And lastly, if you hold the backward directional input, again S, and cancel Guardian Angel, it launches Mercy in the opposite direction, which makes backward Guardian Angel much easier and consistent to do. So my initial reaction was, oh hey, <laughs> this sucks, and I hate this. But I've been like that for every Mercy change, and I have to rein myself in a bit and think about it more objectively. I think I reacted that way because the one thing they're trying to fix is the one thing that this iteration really fails at and causes frustration to use, which is Super Jump. We'll get into that, but first let's talk about the good that comes with this iteration. Like every iteration of Super Jump, this one also has plenty of potential, maybe more so than the others. I debated making this a pro or a con, but honestly, it's both. This iteration feels more like an update to Guardian Angel instead of Super Jump. It's not necessarily a bad thing, especially since only a few changes need to be made now to make Super Jump feel good in this iteration, which I'll cover later. Guardian Angel's neutral state now has even more horizontal movement, so you've got much better directional turning control and the ability to make very sharp turns. This makes it easy to break your course and make split-second changes in your direction, especially if you're headed into potential danger. Oh, and <laughs> did I mention it can be done at any point during Guardian Angel? That's pretty great! <laughs> Backward GA, which used to be very unreliable, is now incredibly consistent, which creates a lot of potential for jukes and really interesting movement. The meter lingers for a bit when you reach your target, and that lets you have a bit more height. Oh, also, you basically never have to touch the ground if you don't want to, which, yeah, that, that's always fun. They will never get rid of us, infinite guardian angel users. Don't worry. Stay strong. Now, let's get into where this iteration falls short. Super jumping is not... well, it's not super good. <laughs> and it's not very fun in this iteration for a few reasons, such as the major directional issues that it has. It doesn't feel very good to have to look up or down to super jump. It also sucks to have to take your eyes off the team fight, even for just a moment, since Mercy has a great strength in her ability to observe. And I've heard things like, oh, what ski? There are other heroes that have to look in the direction they go, like Tracer, Genji, or Winston. Okay, but are any of those hero's abilities on a two second cooldown and has to potentially look up or down every two seconds depending on the situation? No, I don't think so. There's lack of vertical movement since you have to be looking exactly straight down or up to go in a straight line, otherwise it's more like an arc. You've also got less height being achieved when at max meter, although looking down seems to give you a bit more height compared to looking up. You can really easily test this in the practice range, it's, it's pretty obvious. Normally you shouldn't have a problem getting up here, but now you do. There's a lack of diagonal movement as well, since the new Guardian Angel only reads the forward and backward movement. This means that if you press left or right, nothing happens until after you slingshot past your target. If you want to do diagonal movement, you have to go in the direction you're facing once you reach your target and then turn your crosshair or you can drift a bit after slingshotting past your target. The meter to height conversion is so slow, it sucks. <laughs> this means that you have to be between like 10 to 15 meters away from your target to do a full max proper super jump. You don't have the ability to do close super jumps, aka trying to super jump when you're close to your target, and you also can't do short guardian angel sync shots. This is really bad. It felt- this- this part felt, other than super jump, feeling kind of like not good with the directional changes, this is probably the other thing that just felt completely terrible. And lastly, this guardian angel is a completely different way of playing. I think that's another reason why I initially didn't like it. Rather than thinking in a straight line, you have to start thinking in angles. Even 
even though that means retraining muscle memory more than the other iterations, I think there's a lot of fun in the challenge of being able to fully utilize this version of her movement and think in that different way. With all that aside, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of stray thoughts and then move into changes. The main target of the Guardian Angel changes was to make an iteration of Super Jump as an ability that feels good to use. This new iteration gives Mercy a lot of horizontal movement and ultimately buffs Guardian Angel in its neutral state like we were talking about. When it comes to Super Jump and her vertical mobility, it really falls flat and fails. It just is, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> They made Super Jump more consistent to do, but it's just less effective now and feels sort of like an afterthought. I barely found myself using Super Jump and instead just messing around with her horizontal movement and smaller arc guardian angels. It was harder to get to the high ground or get verticality like before, which wasn't as satisfying and made it a bit harder to get around. Some people have asked if we really need Super Jump. Verticality is incredibly important as Mercy to easily get to high grounds and away from enemies, so I would argue that yeah, yeah, we need it. When I was trying to change this out, I feel like I wasn't fully using Super Jump and felt like I was losing out on a lot of verticality, which shouldn't be happening. I didn't add this to cons because I'm not sure if it's an individual thing or if it's like something else that other people feel as well. But when looking down or up to Super Jump, it feels like it distorts your perception of how far up you'll be going. So you end up thinking you're going further up than you actually are. You know, I've heard a lot of negativity about this iteration and I was also initially negative like I was about the other ones, but I genuinely think that with some changes, this could be it. This could be the one. I know I never try to do balance changes or anything, but the changes to make this feel polished are pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say them. Firstly, either double tap space or tap crouch to zero jump instead of looking up or down. I'd most likely lean toward tapping crouch because you might have accidental inputs since space is already being used for things like slingshotting. The meter should charge faster based on the distance between Mercy and her target. That means if you're further back, then it charges like it does right now, but if you're closer, then it charges much faster. This should fix the problem problems with not being able to perform short slingshots and close super jumps because if you notice when the meter is charged less you get less distance so when you're close to your target you don't have the opportunity to charge the meter properly to perform short slingshots and close super jumps. Buff the height of super jump just a little bit so that it's the same height as it is in overwatch 1 because right now it feels like it isn't. Maybe fix the lack of diagonal movement we were talking about before, that would be really nice. Also, last thing is that sometimes when you want to slingshot or perform other tech, you just end up performing a backward guardian angel when you don't mean to, which is a bit rough. I'm not quite sure what a change would be for that, but just thought I'd throw that in there. Oh, also, slap a toggle on that bad boy and call it a day. As this version is right now, it feels really good for non-mercy players based on feedback that I've been hearing, but for experienced mercy players, it's lacking quite a bit. I feel like with the changes outlined that I just went over, it'd feel great for both Mercy players and non-Mercy players. I really think it's so close to being there. I hope the devs don't scrap this one. I'm getting really tired of learning new super jump iterations, even though I appreciate all the effort that they're going through to give us something that we'll be happy with. But honestly, with this one, I think you're so close. You just need to polish it a little bit, and I think we're good to go. Really quickly, I hopped on my various social medias to ask console mercy players how they felt about the new super jump and just wanted to vocalize their feedback. The most common comments I received was that the changes felt restricted. It felt really slow. It's a nightmare if you don't have high sensitivity. It was awkward to look up and super jump, but looking down was easier. There was a general like hate for looking up or down and that it sucked that they couldn't look around or that they had to look away from the team mid fight, even for just a little bit, which I think sort of also translates to PC, but PC I think can do it a bit quicker than on console. The changes require much more precise camera control. Console players generally move their cameras slower, like I just mentioned, so it's hard to look up fast enough and it's harder to flick your camera and go in different directions. It can also be pretty nauseating because of the drastic changes in direction and can also be hard to have enough time to move your camera and super jump before your beam disconnects. And that's all from me for now. I would love to hear what you think about the latest Mercy super jump iteration. Please let me know in the comments what has been your favorite version so far and why. Was it the first one we had with the two systems? The second one with the automatic super jump? Or is it this latest one? Personally, I'm still a fan of the first one, but I 
I think with a few changes, this version could very easily win me over since it's so close to doing so already. They're almost there. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time.